I mean, if like if we weren't gonna do nothing and we had no budget and we were gonna get in the van when tape the bumper to the van and go take the trailer to the van, I knew they were down. So I put together my friends who, you know, I could have easily did a band with some Dave Navarro dude, but I wanted to do it with people that were my friends who never got a chance. And up to three years ago, I was still playing like I'm playing now, but I never got the chance that you guys see me on another platform where you're like, ah. you know what I'm saying? I was still doing the same thing, I just never got a chance. So I wanted to showcase my friends who never got a chance, people who are background singers. Who are background singers. So to keep the story short, um, yeah, I, it's just that we're just, we, we thought we were going to have to get in the van and take the bumper to the car, and now that the record sounds so good, we're like, nah, dog, we're getting the deal. <laughs> so we're just taking our time, dude. Any other? How do you play so fast around the kid? Um, oh, I got exercises for that. <laughs> and I think I stole them from Virgil Donati because I was on a clinic tour of Virgil Donati and I got to watch him practice for five hours. No, I'm but I did get to watch him practice a lot. But you would, I mean, I think I stole it. I, th I, th I think I thought about it yesterday. But there you go. Like if you want to cook pasta, 
you don't have to cook pasta three times to get good at it. You know what I'm saying? You just keep practicing until you get it. You back there with the, the face I can't see. How did you do on that, um, that concept that big jump set you were doing? Oh, when I was nine? Yeah. Oh, I wanted. I had all. <laughs> yeah, I wanted that jump set so badly. Yeah, I, I had all these um, I had all these drum teachers all bummed and all these older dudes who wanted to sell the drum set because they needed rent money. They're all bummed out. And I was nine, dude, so it was like for me, I just like ah! that night I went home and set it up. I got like pictures of me with like ashy kneecaps trying to set it up with no pants on the short. Everything you do seems really tiring. Is there like a workout? <laughs> Uh, not really. Well, when I got into Mars Volta, we was doing three-hour sets, so it was more like stretching. Like, I would stretch, and I would, like, breathe, and then, like, I would pace myself, because some people, like, the first song, like, ah! <laughs> and then by the end of the song, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so, so you gotta pace yourself, because it's like, and then, like, the other, the other thing that I was doing, you know, is I would make sure I could hear my drums. <laughs> I'll be like, Ah! And I'd be like, no, nah, it's not loud enough. And it would be loud enough. I would just say that so I wouldn't have to hit it super hard. Because when you're playing in festivals, like you're not like you hitting super hard ain't gonna change the sound in out there. It just makes you get tired and it just makes you look dumb. And I just, you know, after a while of looking dumb, I just started being like, dude, I'm about to pace myself. So a lot of times I'm super pacing myself and people are like, he's keeping up. I'm like, yeah, because he's pacing himself. <laughs> And then sometimes uh, you can make it seem like you're doing a lot more if you just head back. <laughs> so, what do I expect? Oh, what can you expect? Um, like um, the Memorials record, like most people thought I was gonna go drum crazy and do a million drum solos on it. And it's not really, it's not really that. It's more like me and a guitar player writing songs in the Dude, when I left the Mars Volta, dude, I was so, like, I was still on fire, and I still wanted to play those same stages, and um, I just wanted to do it with people who were cool. I just wanted to do it with people who were super cool and did not have a lot of the hang-ups that, you know, people who have been doing it for eight years have. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to do it with people who were fresh, who were down and getting the bus, and let's party and have fun. So hopefully you'll get, like, you'll get our energy, and you can tell that we had fun making a record, and, like, that's kind of important, dude. Sometimes you hear records and you hear no personality. Like, it's dope. You'd be like, that's dope, but I don't hear any, it's soulless, basically. It's no soul in it. So, for me, it's like, it was good to, like, like, Vivica, she could write about a donkey on the porch. Like, she could write about anything. And I've been in a band for three years, I'm not. <laughs> you know what I'm I wanted to have lyrics that were actually lyrics. You know what I'm saying? I wanted, you know, my grandmother goes to church, so she cares about lyrics. She cares about what's being said. And, you know, I watched this dude yesterday have a pentagram. He had a Mars with a jacket with a pentagram on the front. And I'm just like, I go to church. I don't represent the pentagram. So it's like, you feel what I'm saying? It's like, I wanted to do it with people who, who I vibe with, who we had a similar spirit. So I think that you guys will get, um, you just get our soul. Like, all right, we left it on the plate, dude. I was just got out the Mars Volta situation. I was bumming out. My girlfriend left me all at the same time. I was, yeah, they're like, oh. But I was, I was like bumming out. And then like everybody else, I've been so overworked for three years that I knew how to overwork people. So I was like, I had a lighter under everybody's butt. Like, now, now, I still do, now. And so um, you'll just hear that. You'll hear passion and people going just bananas, really. I don't know how to explain what it is. More questions? See you back there. So is it true that the drummers always take a kiss? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, just say yes. <laughs>